Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and uh, I don't know if you can see behind me here. Uh, new light. So, this is Big Boy's new light. Got that for 50 bucks at Menards. All right, well, let me get you set up, and then we will take a look at the Big Boy. All right, guys, here we are. We're back. Going to take off the bubble wrap here and see what we've got. Um, I don't know if you can see down here. I had some uh, floor cleaning upping, so that's what that is. It's not part of the normal project. But let me shake, shake, shake everyone out of here. And we'll take a look and see what the big boy is doing with its most recent feeding. Okay. All right. So, I did not look at the, the video. I think I fed down the middle. Oh, yay, spring pails, my favorite. All right. Everything's staying a really good moisture, um, so that's looking really good. Uh, the bubble wrap is helping. I think the, the damp weather that we're having here in Illinois is helping. All in all, I think this bin is going along really nicely. The only thing that food-wise I'm seeing on top here is just that avocado pit. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of push things off to the edge here and slowly reveal where the food may be. Okay, so looking at what I perceive to be a, a worm ball over here. Let's see, mango pit. I think it is part of the latest iteration of Eat My Shirt. But let's let's see how far it goes. Well I doubt very much that this worm ball is is for my shirt. Probably due to the bananas and the rice and everything. But that's a that's a good size worm ball there. And the shirt is simply in progress. Now this isn't a university shirt. This is a, uh, I think it's Hollywood? Yeah, Beverly Hills. There we go. Made a trip there once upon a time. Got the shirt. All right, so we will get this worm ball back where it goes. And I'll keep digging around and see what it is, what else we can find in here other than that shirt. Because I'm sure that's not why they balled up. So going through, they are really doing a good job in here. I mean, this, I know that it looks darker because of, um, we'll talk about that <laughs> later. Um, but because of the leaves, it looks much darker. But it is, it's nowhere near finished yet, but it's probably 50% of the way finished. Yeah, I don't... I don't remember exactly what I fed, but there's really nothing on that shirt, which in theory should have been where the food was. Let's see. Find anything else? <laughs> Not finding any food here at all. Move the worm ball down here. See if I can find any food here. Because there was really nothing left on that shirt, whatever. It's only been a week. But I think this is the time of the year that I generally underestimate the worms and their ability to go through food.
Smelling a little orange. And some mango. Tea bag. Yeah, wow. Really thought there'd be some food left. I usually don't skimp on the food with these guys. We we're going to go all the way end to end. Let me move you a little bit. Let's just say that the big boy is no longer in the dark about anything. Look at this. It's like he's in the movies. Okay, well, this is the dry stuff I swept off the floor, so I'm just going to me mixing up uh, bonsai soil and, and whatnot. That can get incorporated, it'll be fine. I was really thinking there should be some food left. Yeah, this, uh, this bin, considering its size, is, uh, it's surprising me. Um, you know, I thought I had tried to really give it a good feeding so that week by week we could keep these guys going, but it's only been six days, and this is obviously, I think I've turned over the whole thing, and I don't even normally usually do that, not end to end anyway. Not seeing any food whatsoever. So, I'm going to have to uh, definitely feed them up this time. All right, pushing things off to the side here. Dig a good trench. Put my sticks in here. These are pepper plants that didn't make it through the winter. Some of them do, some of them don't. Those did not. I will put the shirt back in the banana. I don't know. Maybe I should put the worms under the shirt because I'm going to feed on top of the shirt. We'll put the worms underneath. There we go. Say goodnight, worms. All right, now let me get you the food for this time. This is going to be horrendous. This is mostly onions and potatoes that went bad underneath the cabinet. So uh, they're not even out of the bag and I can smell them. So let's, let's make that a little bit deeper, shall we? Okay. So spread the shirt out. So these were not cooked. They were frozen once upon a time. You can tell they were frozen. So this is going to be pretty wet feeding and I imagine the onions are probably going to take a while even though they were frozen just because they're a root vegetable. They'll probably make it through the potatoes pretty fast. I mean they're pretty squishy. Um, but with the uh, worms in here, we've got the blue worms, red worms, and European night crawlers. I added probably another pound or so to this as I'm still harvesting everything. So there might be as much as five, seven pounds in here, maybe as much as ten. It's hard to say. I mean, that worm ball was clearly a couple pounds, and there's just as many worms distributed out um, throughout this whole bin. So this will hopefully tide them over for a week. If anybody has any questions about this bin, leave me a comment below. Um, if you have any questions or comments, um, or you know how I made it, there is a video on that that should be in the big boy playlist, which I'll put at the end. So if anybody has questions, love answering them. But for right now, we're going to cover up this particularly stinky um, feeding and it is onions so although the worms can handle the onions just fine um, they don't smell good <laughs> at least not to me 
So we're going to cover them up really good, better than usual, because um, I don't want that stink getting into my basement. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.